Okay. Hey, this is Samurai Steve over to Mendez, and we're going to do some basic Junkon Kung Fu. So I have my opponent here in her fighting stance. Okay. Amanda has uh, just recovered from ACL surgery, so a minimal of motion. Okay. The basics, what Bruce Lee was really good at was getting to his opponent. Okay, so our basics is going to be the Bilgi, G Tech, Pac Down. Now, three times I can pox out. I can pox out before she punches, during her punch, and then after the punch. Got it? Three times you can pox out, which tells you that's a super high percentage move. Um, so do it all the time, enter safely. The difference is, is when I do it though, I'm gonna have to enter with my shoulder up like a boxer. I can't come in like this because I'm gonna get caught. Okay, so you have to enter a bit like a boxer and then follow up with your traditional gym time. Okay, so and the other major entry, which I guess I should just put on there just for notes, that's high percentage and awesome, is coming in with double jets out with an immediate headbutt, and then you can finish with whatever martial arts you want to do from there, it doesn't matter. But you know, devastating for your traditional gym fan, that's good stuff. So now, whenever I come in with Anna and my jet with my pop top, the first thing I kind of thought was if I came in here and she really stiff arms me, like she's strong, like I hit a brick wall here. Good, good count. Ready? I go one, two, bang, oh. If, if I have this kind of energy, I immediately lobs out. Okay, I pull, because she's going that direction, okay? So the first way, or the first barrier I might receive is that lead hand. That's how I might be getting around that lead hand barrier, as a for instance. Now, hands up. Now, I get around that lead hand barrier, and the rear hand barrier is the one that's gonna give me trouble. So let's change positions. Okay, so now as I think, I do my G-tap, I get through this, which means yes, this is the one that carries. Okay, if I wind up in this position, this hand is clo this, it's close right here, is this hand. So I'm going to re pox out again to take that shot up. Okay, in traditional Jun Fan, this would be a traditional follow-up in Wing Chun also. And in traditional, in Bruce Lee stuff, we would step in if we were in a sound street for the throw, for sure. Okay, so anyways, as I enter, one, two, it's so like the knee hand barrier. Bang, lops out right away. And in that position, even pop. Jump from the lob to the pop to cover that. And we immediately get Chun Choi, super short straight blasting, right? And then, she might give me the rear hand barrier. And she holds center line a little bit. So I'm just gonna re -pop here. Again, she holds center line a little bit. But see, I'm a little far, maybe I should, should just shoot this hand and then re pop, which is a common move. Sometimes you'll see the bougie to the throat and then do it right away. And then I might get that cross hand energy. So now, even if she's pushing a little bit more, it's kind of, it's hard for me to get into here. It's easier for me to thread the needle and either it locks out or if she's pushing, thread the needle, and then pox up. And again, we're in this position where I would do what again? That same, but I don't want to run through her right now with the forward pressure that would be necessary for the motion. Okay, so you put the bottom line, as I might the lead hand barrier, rear hand barrier, my pox up, it's my high percentage move, aside from my personal favorite from the gym five, which is that headbutt, because that's just a fight winner, that's just a way to start killing people.